You have completely misrepresented my views. Do you accept for me to play a brief video of you saying it's okay for men to marry little children? That kind of sex is happening because it's natural when you reach puberty. Could a man have a marriage to a five-year-old consummate it if she started precocious puberty? If she starts showing signs of physical maturity, you have no problem with eight and nine-year-olds having sex. Michael cited the study to you. It goes as early as 11 months. And we debunked the study that he cited. He doesn't know how to read a study. What if the embryo in the womb has puberty? Also, your claims about me supporting pedophilia. This is garbage. This is uh, you, if you want to look at pedophilia, look at what the Talmud says about marriage to a three year old, including sexual intercourse. And I cited some of that. We can cite that more of those passages in the open dialogue. But that you have mis completely misrepresented my views. Um, but we can talk about more in the open dialogue. So Daniel gave a long speech here and he included something at the very end. Uh, and I want to ask him about that because he seems to be very sure and uh, he seems to be presenting to the audience this idea that I mis misrepresented him. Uh, Daniel, w do you accept for me to play a brief video of you saying that uh, it's okay for men to marry little children? People know the clip. Um, Are you okay yeah. with it or not? We can play it, yeah. Okay, all right. I'll play the video now. Since you said that I misrepresented you, I will share the sound of it and play it right here. So you said this is garbage, I misrepresented you. Right. When there are signs of physical maturity, it becomes permissible for the husband in Islamic law to have marital relationships or consummate the relation with his bride. And this is the example of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Do you know law. what precocious puberty is? Starting puberty unusually early. Like, yeah. Is there anything in Islam that prevents you from, you know, man marrying a five-year-old that started precocious puberty? You can arrange a marriage even as an infant, but that doesn't mean that sex is allowed. Could a man have a marriage to a five-year-old consummate it if she started precocious puberty? If she starts showing signs of physical maturity, then yes, that's permissible, as I said. age four? If there are signs Three. of... So this is something that becomes biologically impossible because precarity, there are no... it goes as early as 11 months. Well, that's something that the parents would not... Uh, the, see, the thing about Islamic marriage is that parents are involved at these ages. And when you look at the marriage... Of there you have it. All right, so again, I respond to your misrepresentation. Presented you, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you, I gave you a chance to condemn the rape of a three-year-old and killing uh, oh. the three-year-old after you didn't have a condemnation for that. So your moral compass is not really a standard here. Um, so so, so if you have like, you. yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Because you said that I huh. support pedophilia. I support marriage like every other <laughs> religion, like every other uh, culture within history. Yeah, laugh it up. But we're laughing at you, Apis. <laughs> we're laughing at we're laughing at the fact that I read you about raping three year olds oh. and killing them. And you couldn't condemn that. Right. So when you have marriage tied to puberty, you can give these ridiculous scenarios like, oh, what if a 11 11th month old has puberty or what if the embryo in the womb has puberty like, you know, Googling philosophy was talking about like that's ridiculous in every culture. You have when girls uh, and boys, they reach puberty, which can happen as young as eight or nine years old, then marriage is, is going to be considered. Um, in the current secular world, uh, there's plenty of sex that eight and nine and 10 year olds are having. You have no problem, uh, Apus, with eight and nine year olds having sex in these public schools. You have no problem with that. Why? Because you don't support any kind of legislation to ban it. So that kind of sex is happening because it's natural when you reach puberty um, to start desiring for that kind of behavior. Islam and traditional religions regulate that, including Judaism. Judaism doesn't have like an anti-minor uh, marriage stance. It's actually the most extreme in allowing marriage to happen and sex to happen without any regard to puberty. And those are the pas passages that I read you from the Mishnah Torah. And you don't want to talk about Judaism. You want to talk about me. So I'm, I'm just ex explaining to you that uh, the stance that I have is the stance that every religion has had traditionally, that Judaism has. Uh, and your stance is incoherent because you're you fine done? with you're fine with eight and nine year olds or even younger having sex in public schools. Are you done?
So this is not about uh, about what I think of, of child marriage. This is about what you said. Uh, it's very uh, interesting. I said that you are a pedophilia activist and you said that um, men should be able to marry and have sex with seven, five, four year olds and so on. Um, you said that is garbage and I misrepresented you. Then I played the video and now you say I misrepresented you as a pedophilia activist. Uh, you don't you're not a pedophilia activist. You are a you are pro marriage. So marriage to little children, not just sex with I, that, that doesn't even make any sense. And I even explicitly said uh, you you allow or you think it's OK for men to marry and have sex with little children. So here is just a clear example of that. This is not about uh, the discussion the, on pedophilia. This is I, a dis there is a I just let, I just let you speak. There is I just a let you speak. Presented. Stop interrupting me. I just let you speak. Um, I said hypothetical. Just, That's the misrepresentation. Okay, hypothetically having sex with uh, four-year-old children. Good, fantastic. Thank you. Wow. Who um, have reached puberty, which is a physical impossibility. Yeah. <laughs> What's your point? So in that scenario, you accept that that is a possibility and said, uh, if there are signs, it would if, be OK. But if now, you that are were possible, you now you're if saying that were possible. possible, if that were possible in some uh -huh, bizarre uh -huh. world. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, in, in some bizarre world, an 11th month, 11 month old or even a one month old could be hitting puberty. Daniel, a hypothetical uh, alternative reality. Can a, yes. Can a four year old uh, girl have precocious puberty, early signs of puberty? I don't know of any cases of that you confirmed it right there in the, your debate with inspiring philosophy no i confirmed precocious puberty that's precocious what I just puberty asked is what I just seven or eight yeah not four year old no, no uh michael cited the study to you it goes as early as 11 months and we debunked the study that he cited he doesn't know what he, he doesn't know how to read a study we so had a medical that, doctor sit and debunk his nonsense. Can I don't want to go too far. Just this because is like, the topic this is that we, the topic like that I promised everybody today is on the war in particular. So I do want to.